Hello! Welcome to our video presentation on Waterline Controls Technology. For over 25 years, we have been involved in designing and developing water level controls for different applications. Our goal at Waterline Controls is to unite all the wet environment points of a commercial or industrial facility and bring them back to a building management system so you can see it and control it. This will make the facility manager's job easier by using one core technology that is both durable and easy to use. During the course of this presentation, we will discuss the differences between sensor technologies, how our sensor technology works, the design behind waterline control technology, and the range of applications that our technology can be applied to. So let's get to it. Aside from the standard mechanical floats, which offer no means to electrically see the water level in the environment, there are three types of non-mechanical water level technology in the market. These are ultrasound, capacitive, and conductive. Ultrasound technology is the process of reflecting sound off the surface of the water and using time to determine the water level. This method can give false indications and triggers caused by the reflective nature of water and the walls. Foaming of the water in a cooling tower can also cause an ultrasound sensor to report false levels. When this technology needs to be serviced, troubleshooting is not intuitive for the technician since nothing touches the water. The technician will need to electrically connect into the sensor and troubleshoot it accordingly. Capacitive technology is designed to measure the water level in an environment by determining the capacitance between two probes. The capacitance of water depends on its quality, which itself varies between geographical regions. Because of this, it's hard to design a universal capacitive sensor. The accuracy of this technology also relies on how the circuit has been developed. Many are sold to locations outside their intended region, causing their accuracy to fall between 10 to 15 percent. We believe this is not accurate enough to be used as a water level control. We only recommend this technology as a level indicator. Conductivity technology uses a set of metal probes with power transmitted between them. The power can range between 110 volts AC to 8 volts AC. This method causes the probe tips to plate, foul, or deteriorate and are subject to water quality issues due to the electrical current transmitted between the probes. Some OEMs have termed this a throwaway technology due to the poor reliability and performance. More importantly, no conductivity sensor has been listed by a nationally recognized testing laboratory such as UL, ETL, or FM. Now that we understand these technologies, where does waterline controls technology fit? Our technology is driven by software, and each probe is a sensor in and of itself. As water touches each probe, the software can drive power relays to maintain the water level, activate alarms, or determine the water temperature. Power is never transmitted between probes. Unlike both conductive and capacitive sensors, water quality is not an issue for water line controls because we use low voltage and low current. Consequently, our probes never plate, foul, or degrade either. We believe that having 110 volts around water is unsafe and that's why all of our models are ETL listed. Here we have conductivity style probes that were installed in a cooling tower one year ago. You can see the corrosion on the left pins and the beginning of deterioration on the right pins. Because of this, the system is quickly becoming ineffective at conducting electricity between the probes, and maintenance would be required every three months until it is replaced or discarded. This is indicative of a conductivity style technology. Now let me show you waterline controls probes on a sensor that was installed two years ago. You can see that there is a lot of scum on the colored jacketing caused by poor water quality, but on the tips of the probes where the actual sensing takes place, you will see there is no corrosion, no pitting, or plating. Water quality is not an issue for waterline controls. The probes will always maintain their integrity regardless of the application. 
Here we have a waterline controls model in action. This is a WLC 3000 sensor wired to its controller. This model's sensor consists of three probes. The software will fill the tank to a specific level, then turn off the valve. What you are seeing is water moving away from the white probe on the sensor which turns on the fill valve. The controller will run a six second timer before activating the fill valve to ensure accuracy. Once the water hits the red probe, the controller turns off the valve. It is that simple. When developing this technology, we wanted simplicity and reliability. Though each model is a little different, there are LED indicator lights for each function. When the LED is on, the device it operates is on. If there's an output relay, there is a status light for it. We included a press to test switch to make troubleshooting as simple as possible. Anyone can press the button, not take anything apart, and watch it cycle through each of the circuits for 15 seconds. The operator can immediately diagnose where the issue is, whether it is outside the controller, inside the controller, or something else entirely. An aspect of waterline controls technology that makes it superior is its modular design, meaning that any part can be removed and replaced if needed. Though all of our models are pre-engineered packages for each individual application, they can also be modified to fit any application by simply changing the software in the controls. There are no moving parts except the relays that operate the valve. Each relay has been tested for two million strikes under the loads they will see during their life. When they fail seven or eight years down the road, just replace them. Our technology is a standalone controller with dry contacts that easily integrate into the building management system. Though we don't see BACnet as a necessary addition, its compatibility with our models is being developed at this time. Unlike conductivity probes offered by others, waterline controls probes do not foul or deteriorate after long periods of operating. In terms of reliability, each model has a 15-year average duty cycle. This has been determined over the course of 25 years using this technology in other markets. Over 25 years of operation, we have documented our warranty returns. In that period, we have consistently stayed under a 1% failure rate. Lightning strikes and installation errors were the most common reason for replacement. We have not received a single installed model back from any of our current distributors. Because we are confident in our technology, we offer a limited lifetime warranty. We offer free replacement for any failed part for the first year and a fixed cost for any part after the first year. Waterline Controls technology is versatile and can be used or adapted to a wide array of applications. These applications include cooling towers, fire protection tanks, boilers, sumps, water well holding tanks, rainwater harvesting tanks, stormwater storage tanks, and commercial pools and fountains. Though cooling towers have been our focus, you can use water line controls in any place where water needs to be managed. Water line controls can either be installed on new applications or replacement applications. If you're still not sure about waterline controls technology, just ask some of our clients. Here are a few unique projects we've done over the last five years to give you some idea of its versatility. All the data centers for Microsoft, Apple, Google, Dell, and Facebook. Gallo Wine Bottle Production Factory, which has two different bottle production lines. A saltwater fishery in Hawaii, where conductivity technology would not survive due to the saltwater. A nuclear facility in Wisconsin that contained eight separate water silos. And rainwater harvesting tanks for two high-rise residential buildings in Minneapolis. Waterline Controls isn't just another product. It is a revolutionary technology designed for all of your water level control needs. When you're ready to get a quote for your application, please give us a call, send us an email, or visit our website. Thank you for watching.